Good evening, everybody. Um, this is uh, that's just the usual. Caledonia Mining is listed on the TSX and on AIM. Um, we have a single asset in Zimbabwe. Uh, it's a gold gold mine that, uh, as you were told, we bought from Kinross in 2006. Uh, we own 49% of it because we're fully indigenized, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, 2014, we had a slightly leaner year. We produced just under 42,000 ounces. We are a low-cost producer, um, cash costs of about $650 an ounce. We are an underground mine, and um, <clears throat> all in sustaining costs uh, below 1,000. We've got a fully funded investment plan for the next five years. We're going to spend $70 million of CapEx, and that uh, $70 million will be uh, generated by the, by the mine in Zimbabwe. Caledonia Group has got uh, roughly $28 million in cash. Uh, we have got no borrowings at all. Caledonia Group is a very low PE and a very high dividend yield. We've been paying dividends for the last two years. Um, we pay we pay one and a half cents a quarter just to remind shareholders that we are still in business and that Zimbabwe is still alive and well and um, we have given guidance that the dividend for 2015 will continue uh, currently on a yield of eight percent at uh, the current uh, share price of uh, 73 cents that just gives you a graphical illustration of our peers uh, listed gold producers in Africa with a small pink one on the left, and uh, that's the PE, and on the other side is our dividend yield, which is, uh, which is really quite attractive at 8%. We believe the low rating is uh, because of Zimbabwe, the perceived Zimbabwe risk, and, and we really do believe that is overdone. Uh, we are fully indigenized, so we believe that we have mitigated some of the political risk. Um, and we, as I said, I think we think that the Zimbabwe risk issue is overdone. Zimbabwe, um, we believe that the, the, the issues that worry investors are political stability, the indigenization issue, uh, past inflation, and exchange controls. You may not like the politics, but um, it, it is a stable government. It is a government that's been in existence since 1980. Uh, we have found the government easy to work with, very pragmatic, and very much more pro-business at the moment. Indigenization, all businesses, and especially resource businesses, have to be indigenized, 51% owned by locals. We have done that. We have got a spread of um, four partners. The important issue is that uh, the community owns 10%, and our workers own 10%. Government only owns 16%, so that's crucial. Uh, inflation, it doesn't exist anymore. Exchange controls, we have no issue getting money out of the country. We pay dividends, we pay management fees. Um, the money that Caledonia has is from Zimbabwe and it's all outside the country. We, we're going to do this investment plan. As I said, we're going to spend $70 million. It's made up of multiple aspects. Uh, the details of this plan will be in this presentation on our, on our website, so you can have a look at the detail there. The important thing is to have a look at the production uplift, 42,000 ounces in 2015, growing to about 80,000 ounces over a period of five years. During that period, the cash costs will reduce and the all-in sustaining costs will reduce to probably around about $800 an ounce. Importantly, we had this program validated by uh, Menexcon, independent consultants, they calculated an IRR of 267%. It's quite attractive. The investment of 70 million effectively paid back by reserves and resources, 97% recovered from known reserves and resources. So as one London analyst said, it's a bet. It's not. It's not. Um, the dividend story, I've spoken about that. Uh, Three million odd dollars a year. We're eight times covered by our cash. So that is good. The investment case, fully indigenized, cash generative, and will continue to be and will increase as production grows. We've got a strong balance sheet for a company of our size, $28 million. Uh, we're going to grow internally, doubling production, and we're committed to shareholder return. We recognize that uh, shareholders are looking for dividends, and we will continue to pay dividends. 
undervalued. We see opportunities for an uptick if the perception of Zimbabwe uh, is, is, is improved and there's a re-rating. So very much higher earnings and a, and a higher PE. That's what we see for the future. Thank you very much indeed.